What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a very, very long time since I ever made a video. I had some private stuff to deal with. I moved from my old apartment to a new apartment. So that is a lot of hassle and I just wanted to concentrate on that, not make any videos. Don't worry about upload schedules or whatever or what I'm gonna film. So I took a break for like a month and I'm back now. At one point you need to start making videos again. So I have to get inside of the groove again, but here here we are. Now, we're not working on the pocket bike, we're not working on the Chao, the CBR, the MASH or the Brixton. We are working on the RCX right here. What we're gonna do? We're gonna strip it down. We're gonna do like we did on the Chao and remove everything from the wheels, from the back bridge, from the seat, springs, forks, handlebars, engine, radiator. Everything is going off on this bike because I wanna do some welding on the frame, remove some stuff because this frame is not for street legal use and I wanted to make it like a kind of racer bike. So we don't need a lot of stuff that's on there also i don't have the plastics anymore so the tabs and the brackets for the plastics can go because they ah, yeah they we don't need them anymore so why keep them i'm gonna close off some holes even where the tag is right here where the holes are i'm gonna close that off make it all nice and clean you're gonna have to paint this at one point because with a lot of welding and grinding and removing stuff the paint is gonna come off and we're gonna have to paint it so that is gonna be a learning process as well removing repainting and make it all nice and clean inside of here i'm not gonna take it to another shop or whatever i'm gonna do it right here strip the paint repaint it i'm gonna try to do the best job i can but there's a lot of stuff that needs to go and to make it easier to work on the frame we need to take off everything from the bike because if i need to grind this bracket off right here the carb is in the way and the wiring and i just want a clean frame also let me show you on the other side now i don't know if i mentioned this in one of my previous videos but there is a big dent right here and that is because the fork hits the gas tank now the stopper right there is not really good anymore so we're gonna have to fix that but we have a dent right here so i'm gonna have to fill that up but i'm gonna do it like the old school way not the new school with bondo and, and sandpaper and whatever i'm gonna do it like the old school the best way you can restore or, or fix a dent in something that is metal of course i'm gonna put on more metal and we are gonna do that with our tig welder that should be perfect for that we can heat up the metal, we can add some, and then we can grind it all smooth, and then it will be perfect. I may have to use a little bit of Bondo or whatever, like a small little film to make it a little bit cleaner, but I don't want to fill the whole thing up with Bondo because that can crack, that can fall out if I didn't prep it really good. So I'm gonna do that with my TIG welder, of course. We need to remove the gas, make it all safe to weld on this frame. I'm just gonna take everything off, drain the radiator, get the engine out. I'm gonna try to take everything apart like we did on the Chao. With the Chao, I really took everything apart and I want to do that on, on this bike. And to start off making videos again, I think this is a perfect project to start on. It's easy, it's just taking stuff apart and then we can figure out what we need. But I'm gonna work on this frame. Also on the back bridge, the pegs. Let me show you again. Now these pegs are really drooping down. It's like a sad grandpa, but yeah. I'm gonna fix that. Also, there's like a little plate right here. I'm gonna remove that because why? Why is this here? And if you look from this, there's like a hole in there. Uh, I think that was for like a lock or a security system. You can put in a rod right here into your wheel so your bike wouldn't get stolen. But I'm gonna yeah, remove that, grind that down, do whatever, get some paddock stands on here repaint the back bridge it's gonna be fun so it's gonna be a dirty job because when i rebuilt the engine i took it out on the field and there's mud everywhere so it's oily dirty muddy it's everything it's not fun it's not a clean bike to look at it was much prettier when i first restored it restored it with quotes 
rebuild the engine. Of course, we all know, get the clip out there, what the engine looks like or a picture what what the piston looks like. I was surprised when this engine was running, but yeah. So now, enough rambling. I've been talking way too much for this video. I'm just gonna get started. So finally the bike is all stripped down. It went a lot better than a with the chow. Didn't have any problems removing the forks. The only thing was the back bridge that was a little bit stuck. I really had to beat on it to get that bolt out but it came out clean. I'm pretty happy. Of course with taking apart a old bike you're gonna find some issues and I found one right here with the forks. When I put the forks on the table this leg doesn't touch the table. It's crooked this is straight this is when it's touching so i'm gonna have to fix that but there's a bigger issue suspension wise that is with the back shocks now this is the back shock of the rcx pretty dirty it's pretty beat up when we look at the other side oh my god i guess the chain came off at one point and it dug itself away into the housing yeah it's pretty beat up but there's more, there is always more. When I was pulling off the shock, I noticed this came loose. It is not connected anymore. Now I don't know how to open this shock. There's no real clear way that I can see to open it. So if anybody has information about Peugeot RCX shocks, especially this one, what kind of suspension fluid needs to go in, how to open it, how to service it, if it can be opened at all if it's not yeah if it's broken replace it so if anybody has any information about this let me know now when we look at the frame there's no big issues except for this dent that i'm gonna fix it's pretty big but yeah we can we can manage that uh, stuff i'm gonna remove i'm gonna remove this bracket 
and this tab maybe weld in this strut bar because this bolt yeah i'm just maybe gonna cut it right here and weld it on also weld it on right here so that is one piece one frame fill up these holes i want to do the electrical system a little bit different on this one i want to build it in maybe get it all right here so that is why i'm gonna cut this off and and make this opening bigger uh, these tabs still got to go so it's really clean looking just everything right here one wire two connected to the engine also this bracket is pretty crooked that's why we have a dent in our gas tank but for the rest it looks pretty good needs a paint job don't know what color yet also here on the back side uh, like this this was for the tail light i'm gonna cut this off and make this all nice and clean just one solid piece put a plate over here uh, there's a bolt right here for a fender also gonna close that up this frame is like a test frame for what i can do with frames and with my tig welder i don't know what i'm gonna do with uh, with this frame also right here there's some stuff that can be removed like this uh, don't need that uh, this bolt right here can also be removed of course clean it up everything but for now there's not much to do there's not a lot of time left in the day but I want to test some things out. So I got some red spray paint before. If I welded something or did something to this frame, I could just spray it. It will look red, but it will not stand out. But I want to test the color, see how it looks. If it's close enough, I can use it. If it's not, we will see. There's little spots right here where there's no paint. Get some paint prep. Yeah, that's nice. Don't need to degrease it. Now let's see how my color matching is. I mean, that's pretty close. It doesn't stand out too much, as you can see. Pretty good. So that means if I grind anything away, I can put that paint on. I don't have to worry about anything and it will still look good enough, decent enough. Of course, if I ever want to repaint the whole frame, I have to paint strip it. Now I don't have any paint stripper and I don't want to sandblast it. I don't want to spend any money. So my parents paint a lot and they got paint remover. Don't know if it's gonna work on this type of paint. This is more like removing paint from wood. So it's not like the same as automotive paint, but we'll see. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> you can see it's like a gel based. I'm just gonna put some on here. So there's a tiny bit on here. I'm gonna see if it works. If it don't work, I'm gonna have to find another solution, but we will see. So it's been about 20 minutes with the paint remover. Let's see how it did. So first of all, let's wipe it off and see what we got. That didn't really do much. Maybe if we poke it, ah, that kind of works. It doesn't bubble up, but it removes the paint, so good enough for me. Now let's just check if it doesn't. Yeah, it's because of the paint stripper. Yeah, so I think paint remover and wire reeling it. See, with a wire reel. That looks pretty good. So now we know if we need to strip down some paint to weld something, we can easily do it with that paint stripper. As you can see, it's pretty perfect. Now this bracket is still coming off, so there's no problem if it rusts or whatever. Big plans for this bike, a lot of work, but I think in the end it's gonna be worth it. It's a pretty nice bike. This is gonna be like a what can I do and how can I do it bike. I'm gonna try to do as much things as possible, like welding on the gas tank. That is something that I'm gonna do to remove the dent, so I know and I'm confident when I weld on the Chao gas tank, it will be perfect, like paint stripping and painting and whatever, make this frame nice and perfect. Well, nice and perfect, as perfect as it can be. It's still a race bike, fix everything, fix the shocks. Maybe if I cannot fix the shocks, I'm gonna have to order new ones, pretty cheap ones, of course, not gonna do any expensive build on this. This is something to learn on, not something to be proud of i always believed in testing your skills on something old but doing 
a very good job at it so when you do it for real it's nice and perfect so that is going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and if you're not already subscribed yet subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one yeah.